It's my great pleasure to be able to award the, uh, two, um, the John Carty Award for the Advancement of Sciences. Uh, th this award was initiated in um, 1932, and for the first time it is going to three distinguished scholars in uh, economic sciences. The award goes to David Kreps, Paul Milgram, and Robert Wilson for making fundamental advances to game theory by showing how incomplete information alters equilibrium outcomes. Um, their advances enhance our understanding of, of the impact of reputation and the emergence of cooperation. Moreover, um, their insights have enriched the analysis and application of auctions for allocating scarce resources. I'm very pleased to be to acknowledge the research of these three distinguished economists. All three scholars have made fundamental ad, um, ad, advances to some of the most important challenges confronting economic analysis. Each is worthy of the highest distinction based on their own merits. Their collaborations among themselves and with others have led to remarkable advances. Jointly, their recognized work on game theory under incomplete information provides us rigorous and perceptive advances to our understanding of reputation and cooperation. Robert Wilson provided fundamental insights into the efficient sh sharing of risk among groups and syndicates. David Krebs advanced our understanding of asset markets, including implications for arbitrage and potential for bubbles to emerge. Relatedly, Paul Milgram's research provided new insights into the, um, on the incentives for trade and security markets. David Kreps expanded our toolkit for representing how decision makers confront uncertainty in intertemporal environments. Both Robert Wilson and Paul Milgram contributed to our understanding of the efficient design of auctions and the actual implementation of a variety of real auctions. I could go on and on, but let me suffice it to say that these are three very exceptional scholars who advance economic analysis, analysis in truly fundamental ways. Well, I'm uh, grateful to the Academy and the nomination committee. I'm uh, deeply grateful that my colleagues are so brilliant and insightful that they've always made me look good by comparison. Uh, and I'm very grateful to my dear wife, Perry. I'm very grateful to the National Academy and the Selection Committee for this high honor, which is made even higher because I get to share it with two such illustrious colleagues. I like to think that it is also shared more broadly. We three represent a much larger community of scholars, too many to name them all, but I would like to single out in particular John Roberts. Too many to name them all, but these are scholars who brought the methods and language of non-cooperative game theory into mainstream economics. As a representative of that community of scholars and on their behalf, thank you very much. Well, I'd like to thank the Academy as well. It's a great honor being up here. And, and I'd like to thank these guys. They were both on my PhD dissertation committee when I was, uh, <laughs> when I was a graduate student at Yale. And, and, uh, and, and so many others along the way. One of the things that L Lars had mentioned was the, the new applications of uh, new resource allocation methods that, that we've evolved. And Ilya Segal at Stanford has been important to that, as well as three of my colleagues from the Federal Communications Commission who are out there in the audience, uh, uh, Evan Correll, Gary Epstein, and Howard Simons. Thank you guys, too, for including me and letting us put this stuff to, to good use and, and making, uh, making our economy and our uh, future uh, wireless infrastructure work a little better. So thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you.